What's up, y'all? Back at it again with my performance Vitesse road bike. But I went from a nine speed to technically an eight speed because I upgraded to the Shimano 600 slash Ultegra eight speed down tube shifters. And I want to talk about that experience and how I may even like it more than the Dura Ace down tube shifters. Basically what I wound up doing was just buying the shifters. Again, they were eight speed. So I could ride with them in friction mode for my nine speed cassette, but I wound up buying a Shimano eight speed hyperglide cassette. And that was super easy. Just same spacer used on the hubs that I got because I don't have 11 speed. My Shimano Tiagra 4400 group set works perfectly fine. Even though there's a nine speed badge on every component on it. So I wound up switching to the Mavic Open Pros instead of my H Plus Sun SL42 wheel set. According to Velomine.com, where I bought it from, the SL42s are about a pound heavier than the Mavic Open Pros, but I'm seriously not concerned with weight. I just wanted to match. And of course, it's more of a box section looking rim, even though it's technically not box shaped. It's got a more round profile, but I really like this wheel set. It's, it's really solid, stays true, and I think it's really fast for what it is. And shallower rims are better looking. <laughs> Another thing I just started getting into is vintage cycling jerseys. And I think this might be a 90s jersey. Not too sure. It's also good if you're on a budget because I kind of know the rough estimate of my dimensions in regards to cycling jerseys and this one I knew would fit online. I have another one too that I got to debut, but well, basically with shipping I got this for 15 bucks and it's amazing. It zips really far down, but the thing with vintage cycling jerseys is usually they'll only just stop right about here. So that's, a, that's the trade-off with vintage jerseys, but they're always going to be cheaper though. So, best part, it's got friction mode. I found out that the other Dura-Ace down tube shifters that I did a video on, I found friction mode on there, even though the manual never said there was any, and there's no clear indication. So the D-ring, when I tried to twist it, it was so stiff, I thought I was gonna break it, honestly. I'm not gonna attempt anything risky on Dura-Ace components, but this one clearly indicates that it's got friction mode, and I'm gonna switch it over now to show you the difference between the Dura-Ace and the, the Shimano 600 down tube shifters. So it's in index mode right now, but pretty much when you wanna switch over to friction mode, just back this out a little bit, enough where the D-ring is loose, and then you can just swap it over. You can see the red arrow. And it gets pretty tough, but then it'll click into place and it's in friction mode. And then you'll just have to tighten this back up. The difference between friction mode and the Shimano 600 Ultegra down tube shifters and the Durace is the 600s, there's like mini indents that when you do move the lever, you can feel, you can kind of see where it would stop too. Whereas the Durace one, it's just, it's just movement, there's no indents. Kind of like the Suntour shifters I have on my vintage Fuji bike. What's funny is I left, leaving it in friction mode and oh well, I'll finish the ride in friction mode. You know, a common complaint about down tube shifters is, of course you gotta get coordinated with it. It's not, it's not intuitive like STI shifters. So basically it does take practice and it takes a long time. Like it took me a few years to really just have muscle memory with them. Because there's certain like hand techniques too that you'll begin to realize that if you move your hand a certain way or a certain angle, you can pretty much guess which gear you're in just by feel and a little bit of sound too. And then when you're in friction mode, Sound is of utmost importance because you don't want to be rubbing in between the cogs and everything. And that's why, you know, I can go friction indexing mode. I'm just so used to it. And it's just more fulfilling when you do finally master Dow tube shifters. I'm 
like I mentioned, there's certain hand techniques that you start to that you start to get used to and memorize. For example, if I'm on the highest gear in my cassette, I'll push my thumb and then pull my finger up. If I'm in indexing mode, it clicks right away. But then the further back, I switch over to the thumb on the bottom. For the chain rings, because it's the Shimano light action, it doesn't go down all the way, so you can essentially only use your right hand. And I'll reach down, slip my finger under it, and then I can just pull up, and that will get me to the larger chain ring if I'm in the smallest one. People wonder if they can get into the arrow hood position with the Shimano SLR arrow brake levers. And that is a definite yes. yes. Of course, your flexibility and fitness are key. It's gonna be the final climb of my ride. And it's definitely a steep one. So there's an example of when you have to shift gears and you're climbing and you have down tube shifters with enough practice, you can sit, shift, and that was in friction mode, by the way, that wasn't in indexing mode, but you can sit, shift into the proper gear, stand back up and just pedal harder. I mean, that's, and that's my motto with a lot of this older equipment. Hold on, I got a U-turn. It's basically compensate by just pedaling harder. I mean, I don't understand why people feel like they're so debilitated with older parts or older systems. Just pedal harder. Sometimes I gotta stop at a park. It's just so loud, just constantly out here. And it's such an aggressive environment that you just gotta be on top of everything, on your game when you're riding out here. You can't slip up. But that just kind of goes to show you that you can be fast with down tube shifters. I mean, they used to race them, and then there's that transition period, which is my favorite era of the late 80s, early 90s, where it was both STI shifters racing with down tube shifters and vice versa. The more gears you have, though, with indexing and down tube shifters, the Dura Ace I would shift, and so, because they're so close together and the increments are so close, that at least with the Dura Ace, I'll shift and I'll sometimes wind up shifting twice and then I have to go back and shift up one. So it, it can get tedious at times where I think with the eight speed, I think it's just the right amount of gears where it has a distinctive position where you're not over shifting or under shifting, even if you want to shift twice or something like that. I would just say the only catch with these is they have this little insert where you thread the cable through and I can definitely see Oh Jesus, I have this one. I can definitely see that piece either breaking or getting lost super easy. I actually put packing tape on it because I don't trust it, even though I'm sure it's fine, but it's just a safety measure pretty much. So bottom line, do I like the Ultegra 600 shifters or the Dur Ace shifters, nine speed versus eight speed? I'm gonna have to go with the 600s, honestly. You know, another complaint that I've heard is of course, when you're sprinting, you better be in the right gear or else you're gonna have to sit down and then stand up and sprint. So again, that's a technique that you'll learn to know what gear to be in before you start sprinting. But I can give it that, that there's definitely more room for error with down tube shifters rather than SCI shifters when the sprint does come. But then a rebuttal is I'm not racing. So it really doesn't matter. I want to thank you for joining me and seriously thank you all so much for subscribing i really appreciate that i just want to keep making more videos about these parts whenever you find a discussion on forums sometimes it's just like their facts are just completely wrong so i'm just determined to film it at least what i have so it's permanently online for people to reference once again thank you for watching and can't wait to make the next video